Hello, 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 all my machine heads. Boy, as it seem like it has been forever since I've recorded a video. It's actually been one week today. Fury had to get his head screwed on straight and facing forward. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic as usual. All right, let me give you a quick fill in what we did. We went ahead because we are now, if you look up in the right hand corner, we're into November. Yay, another month. Our wheat is planted, our wheat is rolled, our wheat is fertilized. And as you can see, we have 0% fertilization up here. So I was mistaken. It is not fertilized because, remember, I had to get this planted very quickly. And I do believe my joystick stopped working. Let me get it plugged back in. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. There she goes. Uh, I think we lost the corn, which is fine. We can plow it in now, right? Oh, it's ready to harvest right now. I can't, though, because we can't. The rule states that we can't lease anything, and I can't afford a header. So what we're going to do is this episode. Oh, this field, by the way, ended up being. Let me show you guys. Where are we? 13.76 acres, what we ended up with total, what we plowed. Uh, so it was, yeah, 13.76. So Fury's made a few, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Fury's made a decision uh, that I'm going to have to eventually upgrade uh, equipment to at least a six meter equipment because three and four meters just isn't gonna cut it isn't gonna cut it i still don't even have a pressure washer i can't even uh fix my i can't even spray my stuff off i can't do it i can't do it i can't do it i can't do it so what we're gonna do is we are going to try like the dickens to get our first round of cows in here now I've also made an, um, a decision, a decision, a decision, a decision, that we are going to, okay, we are going to, oh, hey, my brain froze there for a second. I sold my or orange tractor, just to let everybody know, okay, so let's uh, fold this up. There we go. We can get out. I sold the orange tractor because I needed to buy a uh, uh, seeds and stuff. So, but anyways, we're going to try a little experiment. I want to do an experiment on this map. I really do. Let me get out. Let me explain a little bit. So, I want to do something on this map, which I'm not going to be able to do on any other map. And it will not sacrifice realism to a point. Okay? We are going to see if we can just make hay... And give our cows some hay uh, without having to give them total mixed ration. Yes, you only get 80%. Uh, because in real life, not everybody has the product and stuff to mix up to make total mixed ration. You feed your cows hay. You feed your cows grass. You feed, I mean, they would be out here grazing. So they'd be eating, their, um, they'd be eating all this stuff, everything, right? So we're going to try a little experiment. We're going to try feeding, at least for the first year, our cows just hay, at least through the winter. And give them bedding, obviously, right? And then we're going to go from there. You know, because I got a choice. I can actually cut this grass here, make silage bales, cut the other one up there and make it uh, hay bales, and we would have enough for the total mix rations anyways. So we would, either way. But I thought about it, and I thought, well, maybe we should try that. Or either way, let's get mowing anyways, so we don't waste too much time. So I had to do a little work off camera to get going and things like that. So I've also decided that I'm going to start just slowing down on videos just a little bit. Just to give Fury's head a little chance to catch up. You know what I mean? I think... You know, 
I think it was just a little too much. That's all it was. It just got to me a little too much, and I was able to, uh, you know, back off a little bit, spend some time with the fam, relax at home, uh, you know, just kind of relax. So I'm going to do that, and I th also I'm, I'm hoping, 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 hoping that you guys got a chance to catch up on the videos. I'm really hoping so. Uh, why am I getting that? That's crazy. Anyways, we'll get her going. We'll get her going. I don't know why it does that at certain spots, but that's all right. Won't be the end of the world. All these trees are going to be gone. That'll give me something to do. Uh, but I'm just going to just, I think I'm going to focus just a little bit more on some quality. And I don't mean like quality in the sense of graphics, because we all know, you know, we all film in the graphics that we film in, and that's it. That's all we're doing. I mean, I can't make them any more graphics that I don't have. <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, focus on the quality. In other words, as you can tell by my voice, just bring it back a little bit more fun. We are going to bring back trivia, which by the end of this episode, I'm going to be asking my trivia again. Uh, remember when we were playing that on Calmston and we were asking and we were having trivia and it was just absolutely great. It was awesome. Uh, you guys answered it. But the, re the main reason I'm going to slow down on videos just a little bit. I'm still going to drop videos. I'm still going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. Um, is because I, I found out that a lot of you guys, just like Fury, you're super busy. You're super doing stuff. And a lot of times, you know, like Fury will drop a video and it'll be like, you know, episode. I'll be on like episode seven and you guys will be like just watching episode one. You guys will make a comment, and I'll be like, uh, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> so, this way, it will give you guys a chance to um, keep up with the videos a little bit more. If there's a little bit of time involved in between each video, it'll give you a chance. And that way, everybody can be on the same page. Everybody can answer the trivia. Everybody can do and participate. It is. It will be great. It will be great. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who asked about Fury and made sure I was okay. To my inner friends that messaged me on Steam to make sure I was okay. Listen, I'm fine. Uh, I was just uh, just a little down. Not anything major, not anything wrong, not anything anybody did wrong. Just a little bit down. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm doing great. I just, I just think it was... When you drop seven day a week videos, I think it just got to the point where it becomes a almost like a job. All right, now it's going to go to the end here and square this off. And then we are going to raise it up because I want to drive on the right side. Don't want to squish down my grass too much. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I just think it, and I promised my family, my wife and my kids, that I would not uh, make it, it would not be, like, when it becomes almost like a career, like, that's when I have to slow down. And even if someday we as family members here on YouTube uh, get huge and we, and we make this a great thing, I still will always do the same thing. I want people to realize that right up front uh, because I think it'd be, um, it's just, I want, I want everybody to have the best quality videos out there. I don't want to just drop videos for the sake of it. And that's what it felt like. That's all. That's all. It just felt like I was getting to the point where um, I was dropping videos just for the sake of getting content out. I know many of, many of you were worried about the multiplayer. And let me explain to you what happened there. Absolutely nothing. Except uh, multiplayer had some issues that we were going through um, with... We had to, Let's just say this. We had a lot of chaos going on. Let's just say that. We had a lot of uh, organized chaos, which we have now fixed. Well, Fury has. I've spent about nine hours this week on my multiplayer... Uh, game buying equipment getting set up because now we the cool thing is now we are going to spend the time 
uh, being a lot more organized because we have a huge, huge, huge goal. I also see, you want some other good news, everybody? I also see that my all-time favorite logging map dropped. So my next Let's Play is already going to be set up. When we get to everything, the goals that we have, and our goals on this map are owning the whole map, having 2,000 cows and, 100 ep and or 100 episodes, which I think we'll probably get to the 100 episodes before we get there. But anyways, I digress. Um... I think if we, uh, that'll be my next play, which also, if you think about the good news in it, I also will, watch this, we can come right in here and mow this just like this, it's a little more quiet, you can also come back out, go back in, come back out, <laughs> um, it, it'll also give the map a chance to update a few thousand times before Fury actually starts playing on it, which will be great. Uh, it will be a logging map, but it will also be a farming map because when I'm done building my farm and stuff, i got to clear land and do all that stuff. You guys know how it works. So, anybody who knows me knows that that's the Let's Play I promised I was going to play. All right. Get my crew's going again. So, but I'm excited. Oh, so, I was, I was in the middle of telling you what we decided to do on this farm. Uh, all the rules stay the same. We're not allowed to lease any equipment. We must buy it. We're not allowed to hire workers unless we have the money to do it. Uh, and then we can do it that sort of way. Uh, because right now it's costing me about $1,400 a day in property maintenance. And that is just for my house. So I may sell the house and then buy a one off my mods list there that doesn't cost me anything per day. But doesn't matter. So much wheat, that's going to be a decent sized field. Which is why I decided to go to the the 6 or 8 meter equipment. Because, you know, look at it. I mean, we got to do it. But the deal is, is it's still got to be done with under 150 horsepower. So if we can find a 6 meter that allows me to do uh, under 150 horsepower, then so be it. If not, we'll stay with the smaller equipment. Like eventually I can get a front mower for this. Uh, and then we'll have, you know, a seven meter width instead of three. So I'll come in here when I'm done. I'll ted this up. Or the only reason I was going to make hay and do it, and I thought I wanted to do an experiment to see if you could feed your cows hay. And even though it's 80% pro productivity, if you could feed them, and I'm not talking about real life, I'm talking about in game. If you can just feed them hay and they still can make you money. Because I was doing some kind of figuring, or as we say in the South, figuring. <laughs> I was doing some figuring off camera a little bit when I was rolling and, and, and doing this setup down here. Uh, I've had, and this is my max, this is why I'm excited to get as many cows as we can. I've had 200 cows before on a map. And they produce anywhere between ninety and hundred thousand dollars a day in milk. Okay, so if you get even if you got eighty percent of that, and let's say it took off ten thousand for if you make ninety, ten percent of that would be well twenty percent. All right, so let's do some figuring while we're on screen and we're talking. So ten percent would be down to to eighty thousand. 20% would be down to about 70,000, right? So, even if you made $70,000 a day for your cows, right? Um, like crew's on there. Uh, you're still making $70,000 a day for your cows. And that's just with 200. Can you imagine how much it's going to be with 1,000? And if I'm feeding them hay, right? So, so hear me out for a second. If, I may, if I'm feeding them just hay, it's one type of crop that I've got to make. I don't got to make silage bales. I don't got to do any of that. I just make literally hay bales for the cows. Okay? Um, and then maybe later down the line, because the other thing is too, and here's, here's the thing that I wanted to point out, that can you imagine, all right, you ready for this? How many 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of liters of TMR, it's going to cost us just to feed our cows. And then you've got to make that silage, and technically, uh, you don't need straw. You just need silage and hay to make your TMR. But what happens if we just went hay? Like I, like I was going to do on Maple for my bank loan challenge. What happens if we did that? If we just tried to do that for at least the remainder of the year and see if we could possibly do it. The other thing that I've made the decision on doing is I'm going to let the cows buy themselves. And <laughs> not they're, they're just not going to purchase themselves. Let me, <laughs> let me point to how it's going to work. For let them create enough milk to where I can buy another cow. So basically, once I buy my initial investment of five or ten cows, whatever it is, and I'm not worried about uh, slurry and stuff like that because I'm going to just, I'm going to hope, this is what I'm hoping for, that I make enough for milk that I can purchase my own manure if I have to. But eventually, with 2,000 cows, I should have enough slurry and manure. I mean, that's just honest. That's just the honest engine. <laughs> um, we'll still give them straw in the winter months, but when we get closer to the summer months, I won't push the straw as much, and we'll only have slurry at that point. So if we can get ourselves a nice injector slurry machine, we'll have our slurry. All right? So hear me out when I say this, when I say that we should let them buy themselves. My initial investment will be what I buy. Then after that, when they built up enough milk, I'll sell it. Um, and then we can only buy cows with it. Now, we will have different cows of different ages and all different things. I'm not worried about that. I'll look at it this way. <clears throat> that when they get to the age of they stop reproducing, and I think someone's told me it's around five years, five or six years, so if I buy 18 months, we really will have those cows for only like three, three and a half years, maybe, maybe four max. And I'm not quite sure. I mean, I have to ask a uh, Wisconsin farmer on that. Uh, they may never stop producing. Oops. I thought I was going to be able to make that around that corner. They may never stop producing. They may just be permanent fixtures. And because I don't think they die off because farm some wouldn't want that they want they wouldn't want little kids on here and their their animals die it just wouldn't work so i'm thinking that we let them buy themselves from the milk that we sell from them and we just give them hay and i've already had it. i know for a fact i know for a fact because i've had um i've had 200 and I know that they make around ninety to ninety-five thousand dollars a day in milk. That once you sell, if you sell it every day. Um, so at two thousand cows, you're going to be running over money hand over fist, and I think it would be just an easier. And it still would now. It wouldn't be totally realistic, in the sense of you wouldn't just give your cows one hundred percent hay. You just wouldn't. So, what I thought about doing was, every once in a while, throw a couple of grass bales in there so they have hay and grass. Because all silage is is rotten grass. That's all it is anyway. So, it's the same family. Um, and our total mixed rations on our farm were totally different. We used to use soybeans for uh, protein as well as corn. Um, and things like that mixed in our total mixed rations so they would get their protein and things like that. So, I'm just thinking about doing that. I'm thinking of coming in here now and tedding this up and selling that, <clears throat> sorry as I clear my throat, selling that silage maker back because we have plenty of wood chips that we can continue to cut up for money. If we ever need money, we can sell a whole bunch of wood chips and things like that to make all the wood chips in here in this, in this side this field are going to be cut up and sold. See what I mean? So that's what I'm thinking. And if it works out, because I don't think as a single player, 
I have to look at reality. I don't think that I'm going to be able to feed 2,000 cows with total mixed rations unless I'm buying it outright. You know, and that's the other thing, too, is if you, um, if you are mixing up total mix rations from your stuff, yes. What happens when you run out? Can you technically buy total mix rations from the, from the buy station and then never make it again and then literally make silage bales to make money? But I think this is what's going to happen. And this is just me doing my figuring. <laughs> uh, is the, I think we're going to make enough from milk eventually to where it's, um, we're going to not only be able to buy the cows, especially think about this. Once we reach the thousand limit of cows, then they're just, that money's free at that point. And even if you, and then think about this, that the older cows, if they stop producing, you're selling them. And even though you, um, you're not going to make a whole lot of money for it, it's free because you, your initial four or five cows or two cows that you buy, um, I may even start out with just two and see how well this works and go from there because we're probably going to end up, I'm not going to lie, we're probably going to end up with 10 or 12 hay bales off this field. So you could get really, really, really built up with hay and everything else. So that's, I think I'm going to do that. Let's, let's try that um, and go from there. I'll sell that original silage wrapper out of here and with that i will buy my two cows or three cows or whatever i need to like i said they're not going to make a lot of slurry and manure but i really believe as cheap as slurry and manure is i really 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 believe this is and i and i haven't tested this theory but I really, really, really believe that slurry and manure are cheap enough to where I can buy it and still use it and still make enough money. Maybe not in the beginning, but I will eventually. I can, I can guarantee it. Off 2,000 cows, can you imagine how much slurry and manure you're going to have? And remember, too, that we're going to be planting oilseed radish on our fields uh, next year. So reality is this. We are going to, that's 50, I think. Now, here's the question I have for you guys. When I plant oilseed radish, I should have asked Grizzly Bear Sims, does it give you a full fertilized state of 100% or does it only give you 50? Because even if it only gives us 50, as you can see, let me show you real quick. I'll, let me jump over here. This upper part doesn't have any fertilizer. Well, actually, this part does. This has 50% fertilized, but look, my yield bonus is still 75%. Now, what is it when it goes off? Let's see how far we can go down. There's, th there's zero. Still getting a 50% bonus on my yield. See what I mean? And that's 0%. So you get a 75 um, bonus. Look. 63, then 75% bonus with just 50%. So if we only have to um, spread one layer of manure on that field, then and then oilseed radish, and it gets off to 100%, how much are we going to have? So yeah, let's try that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's that's the decision we make. We'll just make that as we go now, right now. We're just going to try, we're going to try the hay only cow empire <laughs> and see. Now, if this works, this is, this could be an experiment for everybody. You know, let's face it. We are in a game. We're not in real life, but we are trying to represent realism as much as we can. So we eventually do want to feed them some sort of TMR, but we don't have to have it like tons but i think this will be a great experiment for farm sim players because if you only have to feed your cows it's kind of like you can feed your sheep literally just hay or grass and you get the same bonus 
Now we know for a fact that cows only give you 80% bonus if you only feed them hay. But in the long run, are they actually making enough money to copy it? Now we may say a year from now, we might go, oh my gosh, that didn't work. We gotta feed them, whatever. But by then I'll have enough money to rebuy what I need. You know, I've also gonna go through and I'm gonna try to do one only one episode per game day like today we're mowing right so when i come back it'll be when you guys come back it'll be december but i will be on completely something different see what i mean so while what i'll try to do is i'll try to uh set it up to where you guys know what i'm going to do so that i don't have to explain it i'm gonna say all right i'm gonna do this 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 where you're gone and then when you guys come back it'll be all done and we'll be doing something completely different. So, definitely, it may not be this episode because it's taken a while to mow. And then, then I got a Ted. And then I've got a Windrow because it'll the Tedder will just spread this all over the place. Um, but what I may do is sell that silage and buy a bigger Windrower because uh, that silage thingy there buy a bigger wind rower and see if i can get a front mower as well for the next pasture that we got to mow so if i can manage to do that i'd like to get my cows now i don't know if i would ever really buy them in real life in december i'd probably buy them in the spring if i was to buy cattle that's when they're going to be the cheapest anyways so but see, this three meters is just, we got to have the three meters on the front so that we're getting like a seven or eight meter width. That's what I think will happen. Still too wide. I'm getting recording this up just a little bit late today. I was watching the Golden State get their Heinies whipped <laughs> in basketball. Love the sounds of this mower. It's great. So, yeah, thanks, 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 thanks for all. First of all, welcome, welcome, welcome all the brand new family members. For those of you who are new to the channel, um, I don't call my subscribers subscribers. I call you guys family members. All of my OGs who have been here before, they understand it. Uh, this is the Realistic Farming Channel uh, where we use real tractors we use real equipment we have realistic tutorials and we have a real lot of fun and but but let me throw this disclaimer in there if there's something that i'm doing that isn't realistic i will let you know so on a serious but chuckling funny type thing let me point this out guys and gals and kids and children of all ages and boys and girls and as barnum and bailey would say just be very careful with what you're commenting unless you've watched all the videos. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Because Fury always, always, always mentions, mentions why I'm doing this or why I'm doing that. And that's why it was chuckling and laughing. I don't take offense to it. I don't get upset. What I do get is I like a little bit of laughter because of the simple fact that... Um, if you haven't watched all of the videos or even the, the whole video, and I know there's some of you that have been very honest, my OGs out there, my uh, Jonathan's, he's an OG. He's been with the channel forever. Russell, he's been with the channel forever. You know, I can name you guys off and um, the ones that have been with the channel forever. Those guys that don't watch the whole videos, let me know. And they are, I already know who you are. <laughs> and I can name you by name. Um, Jonathan watches my videos at two times speed. And if I'm doing something that he's never seen before, he'll stop and he'll pay attention and he'll rewind to the part where I'm talking about it and blah, blah, blah. But Jonathan's been around forever and a day. You know, uh, my good, 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 good pal, Reefy 1952, he will uh, not necessarily watch every video, but when he does, he'll binge watch them and he'll catch them all up. And he always makes such the... Everybody makes wonderful comments. Wonderful, wonderful. 
But the one comments I gotta, I have to chuckle about are the ones that say, hey, Fury, why aren't you doing it this way? Why aren't you doing it that way? And I chuckle. I literally don't get angry. I don't get frustrated. I don't get mad. I laugh because I, I laugh because I've already explained why. So to answer, <laughs> to answer Joe. All right, Joe. First of all, as you can tell by my voice, I'm not upset. I'm not angry with what you had posted uh, about asking me why I don't use this and why I don't do it this way, why I don't do this way. But for those, for I'm hoping that you've watched it this far, and I hope you understand that this is going out directly to you. <laughs> I don't use manual attach for one and one and one simple reason. And I've explained this at least... <clears throat> Let me clear my throat <clears throat> at least 15, 20 times over my career as a YouTuber. I don't use manual, manual attach because Fury has a gazillion mods downloaded in my mod folder. And <clears throat> sorry, I just, I got a really dry throat all of a sudden. Um, I've got a gazillion mods in my mod folder. So manual attach always, always, always conflicts with one of them. So I stopped using it. I've had more issues with it. It's a great mod, fantastic mod. But I've always had more issues with it conflicting with script. And I, because I think a lot of it is, Fury uses a lot of script mods. Um, I use a lot of things that change like the loan amount and things like that. Those are, those are what's called script mods. They change the scripts of the game. So I, Manual Attach does not like script mods. And I have a lot of mods in general. So as I've explained to you guys, a gazillion times I don't use manual attach because it conflicts so I just say I'm just not gonna use it it's easier uh, it does take a little bit away from the realism because in real life you do get out and you do hook up your tractors you do hook up your PTO and you do hook up your wires and everything like that but that's why now one more thing Joe I have to answer you you asked wouldn't it be easier if I hooked the wagon up to the Brooks and if I, I chuckled because if you look at reality, if you look at the entire video, I was doing that 95% of the time. And I said to you all during the videos that I like to have the wagon hooked up so that I can just go right to the silo and dump it in or go right to the cell point. What I was doing, though, is demonstrating how to unload the brooks without a trailer. There. Got that out of the way. So, do me a favor, everyone, young and old and everybody in between. <laughs> if you're going to make a comment on why Fury is doing something, just be sure that you've watched the video. Because, like, for example, like, uh, my farm ad advisor on my multiplayer is South Wisconsin Farmer. Uh, South Wisconsin Central Farmer. He is a real farmer in real life. Now, Fury's been a farmer in real life. But it's been years. I'm, I'm not as modernized as I used to be. So what he does is I have a lot of questions. Okay? Sometimes about how modern farmers do it. Things like that. He always answers me. It's pretty good. So, like for example, he posted the other day. He's like, hey, uh, it would be much easier in real life if you did the headlands first. And then I had to explain to him that this is why. But I also explained it in the video. So, and I said, if you guys remember, I said, now in real life, you, if you have more than one person doing work in the field, you would absolutely do your headlands, you bale your headlands first. And then you'd move the bales out of the way and keep going. That way you don't run over the bales. But if you're by yourself, you would do your headlands second because you don't want to run over your bales. That's all. That's all, guys. Just... Just understand that I do explain a lot, and I sometimes I explain too much. Sometimes I, I go into too much detail. Just make sure that you guys are understanding that I've explained it already. That's all. And that's all, as Forrest Gump would say, that's all I'm going to say about that one. <laughs> all right, so we're going to finish this up. Then we're going to go grab. We're going to sell that silage thing, and we're going to grab us a bigger... Uh, I don't even know what, kind, what size tether. Do I even have a tether? I don't even know. I don't know. I knew that I was going to miss that. Now, you see that I mowed this two different ways. 
I was going around the outside for the headlands, but then when I got my headlands done, after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven headlands, or eight headlands, however it did, then I started going down one way and coming all the way down. That way, uh, I didn't have to spend, oops. I can, whoa, 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 whoa. My, uh, I bumped the top of my joystick and it put my, uh, <laughs> it just kept going. Let me just hit my gas pedal. So that's why when I started going around, I, I just started going from one end to the other. Didn't have to lift it. Because contrary to belief, you can mow over the grass that's already on the ground. You do it at, you do it at home when you mow your lawn. So think about the reality of that one. So ah, what you guys got going on? I haven't talked to any of you guys in forever. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Um, it just feels, I just needed the time off, that's all. That's all I needed, nothing major. Um, I had some personal issues going on, and I'm not going to get too much into them on camera and things, but I needed some time off for the fam and things. So there's no cows, I don't know why I shut that. All right, so while we're right here, we're going to drop this mower off. I'm hoping... Oh, I got a six-meter tether. Perfect. I'm hoping between selling that silage thingy and... Now, I've got to watch this. Now, you've got to unfold this. This is, this is the only thing I don't like about this swather single mower. Is that you have to, and then you have to lower it. And then you have to unhook it. It's weird. Um, I'm hoping... Let's, let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see this. Go down here, and we're gonna sell this wind rower at six thousand. And we're gonna sell what's the other thing? Oh, the bale wrapper. Oh, it's gonna be close. So then we're gonna go back up, and we're gonna get another wind rower. Oop, let's go that way. Let's get this wind rowers. I got a couple downloaded way down here. That this one's a fourteen thousand. This one's 15, but I don't like those as much. Because it's so big on the front. So let's buy this here. And we're going to make this our blue. Rim color of a white. We buy that. Okay. Now let's see if we can buy a front mower for the next field. Uh, let's go all the way over. I don't want that. Pottinger, 13,000, which would put us just about right where we were before. 3.1 and then 2.4. Yeah, it's only 12,000. If we went 3, because our mower is 3.5. So if we added 3, it would give us a 6.3.1. It would give us a 6.6 .6 meter 11. Because the back, the back one is 11. All right, so we're going to head down. Actually, nope, we're going to start tedding. we only got about an hour left. This is, this is a six-meter tether. So now we've got a six-meter. And I still got this literally. Whoops. I've got a six-meter um, cedar. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys. Let's just, let's just duck right through here. All right, so where did I put that thingy? Okay, so we got a six meter subsoiler. We've got a six five point seven meter stone picker, if we want it, which we could sell that because right now I'm not worried about rocks. This is at least six meter cedar, uh, and a six meter wind rower and a six meter tether. So we're almost at six meters all the way across the board. And we're going to rock and roll from there. We're going to get this. We got about another hour left in game. And we are going to get ready. Because I may sell that rock picker because I'm not using it. That's the truth. So we're going to get out of here. I have to shut this because there is some grass in the way. Awesome. Let's, uh, well, actually, let's come out here. Let's fold this down. 
come all the way to the end so that I can go right around. There we go. Here we go. Lower and beat. Making some hay, making some hay, making some hay. Yay, we're making some hay. Then we'll windrow these windrows right up and we'll have us some nice hay bales. And we'll then what the next step would be to bale it up. And I've also got a forklift down at the shop that I really don't need. What I may do is sell that and buy us a... Remember that Teletruck that we were using on Maypole? I really, really like that. I can actually get three windrows in this if I wanted to. Maybe on the next pass we'll get the third one in. I may turn that forklift in and just buy the Teletruck. Because the Teletruck's a little bit faster where if I need to load up... I've got a front loader too on this thing. So I really don't need the Teletruck, and I don't need that um, forklift down if we want to go down and buy pallets of something, which we have the seed at the house here at the farm. So the only thing that I would need is maybe some manure and stuff if we ever buy it. We can go down there with a the front loader and buy that. So I think I'm going to do that. The other thing is uh, somebody brought up about my bale forks and they said something about the fact that um, if you position it right you can fit two bales on it you are correct except you're wrong in my instance you're correct with regular size bales but remember I'm using 180 size bales they are huge cannot fit two side by side and if they if I'll try it but if and if I'm wrong I'll be the first one to admit it but I'm pretty sure that it won't fit so what I've got planned for the next episode by my, well, on my own here to get going, get us through the days. I'm going to finish Ted and this. I'm going to get this wind road up. I'm going to get it bailed up. And then we are going to buy cows. I'm going to sell that forklift down at the shop. And I will buy a pallet fork and things like that. And then we're going to buy our first cows. So when you guys come back, um... I think what I'm going to do is actually, you know what? Let's see if we can get three in here. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Yeah, uh, it's a little, it's a little snug. Yeah, I don't like pushing it that much. It should, by rights, only get two. Because that's, uh... It's 3.5 meters, so two, yeah. I wish that he had set seasons up to where he could come in here and just mow the grass, tet it like this, and then leave it, and it would turn into to hay. Somebody's going to come out with that mod. You watch. I can, I can feel it already. But I'm going to start very, very little. I want to see if it works. I want to see if this uh, buying my own cows from their own milk, how long it would take, like, five cows to did it again. Did it again. Did it again. My joystick battery must be dead. Must be dead. Must be dead. Because it just goes straight when that happens. It won't let me steer. All right. So we got to get some trivia out of the way. Trivia, trivia, trivia. Trivia, trivia, trivia. You guys ready? You guys ready? It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done any kind of trivia. All right. So we've done tractors. We've done animals. We've done farm sizes. What can Fury ask you guys to stump you? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? All right. So we know that, and we know this because Fury's mentioned it, there are several different kinds of cow feed that people use for total mixed rations. What are some of the other crops that farmers do use for their proteins for their cows or in their total mix rations. 
Okay, so what are some other... And even if you only name one, that's fine. Uh, we're going to do it this way. Uh, for every one that answers an answer, okay, that's right. And remember, I'm going to do my research as well because I don't think I even know them all. There may be several. Okay. List in the comments of what you think the crop is that farmers will mix with their hay and their silage for total mix rations. Okay. And go. Do, 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 and go. Go get this, go back up, and go. Yeah, I told you we're going to bring back some fun. Some fun in the sun. <laughs> it's gonna be more, and that's what I meant by quality of videos. It's, it's just really, when I'm pumping out videos over and over and over and over again, it's kind of like um, you find yourself just going through the motions, and you find yourself just putting out videos for the sake of putting out videos, and they're not very. Not very good. Not very good. I can admit it. I've watched a few of them back. I think that the slower videos will also give you guys a chance to catch up and keep caught up. And that's the cool thing. But we did accomplish a lot today. We, a, we didn't lose any money. But because we changed our strategy up a little bit, we were able to get a, a bigger front mower and a bigger wind rower. So we've literally got almost all our equipment already done for s at least six meters. And as we continue to grow, we'll go up to 8 or 10. And But we're going to try to... I want to try to keep this 150 horsepower tractor as long as I can. But if it gets to the point where we can upgrade to like 8 or 9, then we're going to do that. Um, and if I have to get a 200 horsepower tractor, I will. But I, I can promise you one thing, that I will not have a... 400 and something horsepower tractor this won't be multiplayer friday <laughs> this won't be having like big buds and stuff on it this this map would look absolutely ridiculous with a big bud would it could you use it absolutely could you use a 400 horsepower tractor on this absolutely but i want to keep it the small farm feel as much as i can so i probably won't go much over 225 or 250 that'll be the max and it's going to be one of these uh, older tractor styles. I do like them. Uh, it may not be the new Holland. It may be the Case. Because I think the Case Pro is out there. And it's like 260. I know. But I'm going to try it. Because I, I don't like fenders um, on my tractors. I just don't. I think they, they just look better. Is it? Does it make it a mess? Absolutely. Makes it a huge mess all over your windows, all over everything without the fenders. But for, for the game purposes, when you can see without the fenders on it, it's just much better. So in the next couple episodes, that I, well, not next episode, the next time I play, uh, which will be tomorrow because it's late tonight, uh, I'm going to sell that forklift down at the store. I'm going to buy a pallet fork. Um, and then I'm going to buy a, what was it that we talked about? Oh, I'm going to buy the Teletruck, I think, if we can afford it. No, 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 because we have a front loader. That would be kind of dumb. We can just pick up the bales with the front loader. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to sell the, tel what was it going to do? I don't know. We're going to sell the Teletruck and do something with it. <laughs> I don't know. Remember. Uh, and then I'm going to start mowing the other field over there and Ted Matt get it all pay. And then we can windrow it and then we can bail it and then we can literally buy our first cows. So hopefully when y'all come back and see me in December, 
sometime that we are going to have our first cows. And I really want to start small. I really want to do it. I want to put like two cows in each bin just to see if I can do it and see if they'll make enough money. I don't know if they will or not, but we'll, we'll do this together. And then that money will strictly be 150% from there on in. The money that we make from the uh, milk will be to buy cows. So I don't know how much a cow is. Let me check here in a minute. Tedding is so relaxing. Just just relaxing. Then on the next field, we will have 6.5 meter mower instead of a uh, three. So it will be able to think about if I would have had a double side, double sized mower, um, I would have been able to mow and get this all tedded in one episode. That's what my goal is to get to the point where like these little mini fields like this. And remember, going one day months, look at the wheat's already growing. It's already growing. The grass will grow every month. It grows a grass stage. So after two months, we'll be able to mow this again. It won't give us nearly the yield. But it will give us yield. <laughs> you literally mow grass every two months. And think about this in real life. Like, I was watching some videos today. It was absolutely funny. Uh, this this farmer, and it was in, it was in Europe. Um... He said, I'm going to mow this field. And, whoops. That did, I did not nearly give that enough room to spin. Um, he said, I'm going to mow this field of grass. This meadow of grass. Or this meadow of grass. <laughs> That's how they talk. Um, and then five weeks later, I'm going to come back and do it again. And he was showing a video of it. And I thought, wow. It was really short. It, it looked like my... Uh, <coughs> sorry. Sorry. I inhaled another one of those fuzzies of my pop filter. Um, it looked like my grass in my front yard was higher than that. So it looked like he was mowing a lawn. But if you think about this, if you think about reality as a farmer, every little bit of grass that you get off during the course of a summer and into the fall, like we as, we as regular people mow our lawns like what, once every week? I, at least that's what I mow mine. I mow mine every Saturday. So think about that and then think about how, how much it grows in, in a week. Imagine if you let it go five weeks. So every little bit of grass blades that come off, they're making hay or, or silage bales with it. And, you know, like the old myth is you have to let it get to like waist high, but you don't. Um, most farmers, if think, all right, so if they're mowing their their meadow every five weeks six weeks that's pretty much once a month so you're gonna get if you started mowing in april or may you're gonna get three cuts um we didn't mow every five weeks we mowed maybe every eight weeks so we mowed every couple of months So we would mow in like, we'd start mowing like right now in May, and then July, and then September, and then maybe if you got a fourth cut, you did good. Grass is the one of the things in the world that is absolutely, the, it's nature's bounty. It just grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and continues to grow. It's great. All right, so let's see if we got enough time to head down to the store and pick up our front mower and our wind rower and come back. But before we do that, I want to see how much a cow is. So look at this. An 18-month-old cow is only $1,550. So that's all the milk I have to make, all the milk I have to sell. And milk sells for, uh, where's my three dots? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Milk sells for $664 per thousand. So I would have to have 2,000 milk in my bin to sell it 
uh, to make uh, enough for a cow, right? Two thousand would be twelve hundred. No, it'd be three thousand. Pretty close to three thousand. So I would need three thousand milk to buy one cow. That would give me eighteen hundred. Yes, because two would only give me uh, twelve hundred. So I would need literally three thousand milk. And how long is it going to take me to get to three thousand? I don't know. That I don't know. All right, let's go down. I got to get a pressure washer, too. That's part of the selling this forklift down here is going to be getting the last few remaining things that I need from the... I could actually harvest that if I wanted, but the rule was we couldn't lease anything unless we could afford... Or yeah, we couldn't lease anything, but if I sell this forklift, I might buy a corn header and harvest that corn. Because after this month, it'll probably will. So we can afford a corn harvest. Now, I can buy the corn header and then sell it back when I'm done using it. I won't make the money back that I did before. But that's okay because we won't lose that corn. We'll be able to sell that corn. So the, the money that I'm going to make from selling the corn will more than make up for what I lose selling the uh, corn header back. I think. I hope. Which is what we're going to do right now. Let's sell. Whoops. Let's sell this forklift. Where is she? Where is she? Forklift. 23,000. And then let's buy us the corn header. Buy the smallest one, which is 19,000. Mm, just keep everything the same. We made about $4,000 more, but at least now we'll be able to harvest that. I'll sell it back and then sell the corn, and then we will pretty much have a little bit more money too. That's good. I got to harvest that today, so I'm going to get, oh, my mower and my windrower. I also won't need that. There. I also won't need that mixing wagon if I'm not using mixing thing. See, that's the cool thing. That's what real farmers do. If we don't use a piece of equipment, we'll sell it back and get rid of it. And we'll make it worth our while. So what I may do is sell that mixing wagon, and between selling that and selling this tractor, I'll see if I can get a 200 horsepower tractor with um, a front hitch on it so that we can mow. Because with that front mower and the front and the rear mower, we're going to be pushing the 150 horsepower. So... And what we'll do is we'll use the selling of the grains that we make, like when I sell the wheat. That's when we'll upgrade our header. And when we have enough saved up for that, we'll upgrade our harvester. Awesome. I'm going to be leaving you guys, but now I can come literally and harvest this corn. I'll get that off real quick. Sell the corn header back. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave you right here. All right, all right, all right. Please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, 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 and hit the little notification bell so you can get notified when Fury drops a video. Please be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And on that note, I will catch you all in the month of December. Have a great one, everyone.